Welcome to a new episode of Science in Context. The Infected Blood Inquiry is underway and evidence is being heard. I'm Sabina and joining me today is Ruth McCabe. Ruth, you contributed to the expert report on statistics. What were your main findings? The inquiry asked the statistics expert group to consider the number of people infected and those who subsequently died from infections obtained either from infected blood products or infected blood transfusions. For example, we were able to estimate that approximately 1,250 people with bleeding disorders were infected with HIV and by 2020 approximately half of them have died due to HIV related causes. There is no database containing the number of people infected from hepatitis C from blood transfusions and as such we had to create a statistical model. By doing so we estimated that between 21,300 and 38,800 people are likely to have been infected with hepatitis C and of those between 650 and 3,320 will have died as a direct result of their infection. What were the main challenges when estimating these figures? Missing data was a big challenge that we faced. For example, we were unable to obtain data on the number of blood transfusions for every year in our study period. This is a really important part of our model, and so before we could proceed more generally, we had to develop a mini-model to fill the gaps left by those missing data. It's really this lack of complete information which is driving a lot of the relatively high uncertainty around our modelling estimates. What was it like to work on a public inquiry like this? So it was a very intensive period of work and we had quite a tight time frame in which to complete it. Although it was a retrospective analysis, to me it really felt as if we were working in real time, not just because of the quick deadline, but also because more data were being made available to us almost right up to the point that we had to submit the report. What kept us focused is remembering that every single figure in our report represents a real human life. Figures are unable to convey the suffering endured by individuals and their loved ones, but it's only by translating these experiences into raw numbers that we're able to properly assess the magnitude of what has happened. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.